it my lovelies welcome back to the channel i'm sorry because a couple of episodes ago we kind of left you hanging a little bit with this whole project behind me what happened is we actually drove all the way to saratoga springs and we picked up this abandoned project from another jeeper named michael now Michael had some incredible plans for this build. We're talking 392 motor, eight speed transmission, and fabricated axle housing, but he kind of went in a different direction and voila, put this on Facebook Marketplace, which was perfect for us because I need another project. And I know you might be thinking, do they really need another project because they have the truck? Well, we're gonna put the truck on hold. Um, everything that happened in Oregon, it really kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. I, I don't think Holly obviously had the best experience. Um, I'm not really comfortable building something for, you know, vomiting it through uh, the desert um, in a dedicated fashion or something that's really built for jumping sand dunes. So uh, we're going to shift away from that and build another Jeep based vehicle. Yeah, so what was awesome about finding this on Facebook Marketplace is that Michael's actually done most of the work that I really did not want to do. What did this come with? <laughs> he sourced a tub with a title, which is excellent. Uh, we have half doors, we have a hood, we have a grill. Um, it's a CJ grill and a CJ hood, but we have some alternatives um, that we might want your input on. Um, and for the most part, all the parts that we wouldn't have wanted to track down on Facebook Marketplace kind of came with it. So it seemed like a really easy decision. Um, there are a few things we're going to change, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, we'll get into that just in a wee bit. But what we have here is a wide open design chassis for a YJ CJ Wrangler, which means either tub is going to work with the chassis, but we have a YJ right here. And like Walter just said, it came with a title. So really that's old. actually really, really exciting. All right, so let's head back into the garage uh, where I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I'm thinking about this vehicle and like in comparison to Mischief Maker and this. All right, so what exactly is this next vehicle that I'm building? Good question. It is a Jeep buggy. That's right. I want to take what I learned from building Mischief Maker and building Nessie back here and take all my favorite components that I like of the two of them. These are a few of my favorite things. And build it into one vehicle. All right, let's start with Mischief Maker. Absolutely love him. And I personally think that he is about as perfect as a full body drag axle vehicle can get. And here is what I absolutely love about him. His ratio is 96 to one. He sat on 42 inch sticky tires. His wheelbase is 119. He drives beautifully down the road and is street legal. Oh, and one last thing, he is just super comfortable. Now, here are the downfalls of Mischief Maker. He is a big, fat, heavy pig. He just is weighing 7,200 pounds. That is super heavy. He is slightly underbuilt for East Coast wheeling. His suspension movement is limited and his steering is limited also. Now let's take a look at Nessie. She's fast, she's light, she has suspension travel for days. She has 37 degrees of steering and she's appropriately built for both the desert and rocks. Her downfalls are she is super loud. Uh, she's also not a rig for just a lovely weekend trail jaunt and her tires are tiny, 37 inch DOT tires, but that is per the rules for the 4500 class. All right, so you can see exactly where I'm going with this build. We're starting with that tube chassis, which means we can explore with the suspension and steering. I want her to be in the same weight class as Nessie, which is almost, believe it or not, two thousand pounds less than Mischief Maker, but I do want her to have Mischief Maker's wheelbase or close to 119. And of course, 
be on big old sticky tires. Now she is going to have a big engine, big suspension, but not as much horsepower as Nessie because I do want to keep that crawl ratio between the high 40s and the low 50s. I want her to be street legal and I want her to be super comfortable for both Walter and I. And I want her to be appropriately built for the horsepower and the terrain that we're building her for the East Coast. <laughs> Now, unlike Mischief Maker and Nessie, we're not starting with a new build or a newer vehicle. So the cost of this shouldn't be as much to complete. But as we did with Nessie, I will do a full breakdown on what this cost. Okay, so this setup is gonna look completely different in like a couple of days. It was left outside, it's a tube chassis, so we have that surface rust right there. And we're gonna be doing extensive work to the top. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but it is red and red is not my color. Sorry for those people who love the color red but I gotta get rid of this color as well. So what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna head on over to St. George to a sand blaster there and get this evaluated. Just before we head on over there we gotta head to the storage unit and grab a couple of things from there first. Actually, it's not that bad. Couldn't find what we're looking for here. Might have to come back later, but hey. I actually just had some lunch before I came out. I had some wonderful salmon and asparagus, but my uh, glucose levels are plummeting. So I'm just gonna head on in here and get a vitamin water um, and maybe just a backup snack just in case from the Maverick. So I got my supplies, obviously, from the good old Maverick. Craziest thing happened. So when we actually picked up the tub, we also picked up a wheel for one of Michael's friends here in St. George, and he randomly pulled into the gas station. We didn't even know who he was. And he was like- He had the tire in the back. He's like, yeah. he's like, I think you have my wheel. And we did, we have it in the back. So we just dropped that off with him. It's a small world. So we've just arrived at Elite Powder Coating and these guys are actually going to be doing this next week, at the beginning of next week. They have been so kind to let me come and see the whole process. Now we do have that hood in there. They've just said um, because it is bed lined, they don't want to touch that. It gets too hot and it gets a little wavy and then people the customer is unhappy. But to be honest with you, I don't even think we're going to use that hood. So 
that's fine. We're just inspecting everything and I'll come back. I'll take those fenders off and I'll drop that transmission for him so that he can just do what he does. And uh, I'm really excited because I've never seen the process. I don't know how it is. I don't know how it works. And uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. But I got to go talk to these guys. Yeah, I don't think I. I didn't think we were gonna use this hood anyway, okay. so we're good. Sweet. Well, yeah, and then yeah, so let's just do that. If you wanna just do that, take it home and zip it all apart. That might be easier. Okay. Okay. You'll have the comfort of your own tools. And, you know, I mean, we're not doing until Monday, Tuesday. Okay. Um, awesome. And then yeah, or just bring it back Monday, and we'll. I'll try to have my guy ready. Okay. Tuesday first thing, and it'll be a problem. Everything come off basically, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to scrape that off, okay. It'll just save a little time with the blast and messing oh. stuff up. So that'd be that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Could. could definitely do that. Easy, easy. All right. That'll cool. be cool. Just awesome. take everything off. The oh yeah. I've never seen one with the tube. All the tube stuff. Yeah, it's a whole tube chassis. They they, charge, they, they make these uh, in Tennessee, and you can replace the frame on a YJ or CJ. Okay, so we just got back from that evaluation. It looks like I have some work to do on that tub before taking it back in the next 24 hours. So I'm going to be a busy bee. Make sure you check in on Saturday to see that, see everything sandblasted and Walter and I have bought some moving and grooving to do here in the shop before kind of being able to fit everything in. I want to thank you guys for all of the support with watching the channel. Also, make sure you head on over to Mischief Maker TV to grab your t-shirt. They're being shipped out this month on the 21st. I am beyond excited about it, to be honest with you. And so are the guys at the print shop. So definitely make sure that you get that order in so you can get your t-shirt. And I got to get to work. So thanks for watching.